Away from the media, Israeli and Lebanese negotiators talk about a decades-old maritime border dispute for the first time. The hostile neighbors are sitting in the same room, but are speaking through their UN hosts and US mediators. They insist this is not about making peace, but it's about extending the exploration of potentially gas-rich waters in the Mediterranean. The timing appears to be political. It's quite peculiar that, that this happens exactly at a time when the US is um, showing, um, let's say, its teeth in, ter in terms of sanctions towards some of the Lebanese players, and specifically Nabi Berri. The deal was announced after US sanctions were imposed on politicians, including a close ally to Speaker of Parliament Nabi Berri, for corruption and financially enabling Hezbollah. Burry is an ally of the Iranian-backed group, which has fought wars with Israel in the past, and previously opposed the U.S. mediating role in the dispute. Hezbollah says its attitude toward Israel hasn't changed, and given that it's the strongest force in Lebanon, its approval is needed for talks to go ahead. Both Israel and Lebanon insist the negotiations are not about normalization or reconciliation, but this is the first time the two sides discuss a civilian issue since Middle East peace talks in 1990. Israel and Lebanon claim about 860 square kilometers in the Mediterranean Sea, where significant gas fields have been discovered. The problem is in Block 9 and Block 8. Uh, currently, Block 9 is invested by Total, uh, and we are expecting drilling to happen, first drilling before May 2021. Uh, and in Block 8, it's, it's an empty, it's not, it's not invested yet. But amid a re-election campaign, the Trump administration has politically invested in these talks, coming after the U.S. brokered deals between Israel and the UAE and Bahrain. Lebanon, by avoiding pressure, further pressure, and the U.S. having some sort of, of agreement moving forward. And obviously the Israeli, uh, by having more direct engagement with another uh, Arab country, even if it's limited at this point, it's not a full normalization. But, uh, but I think at this point it's a win-win, but it's not a guarantee that we have a deal, uh, especially a, a quick one. There is no deadline, but in the words of a U.S. diplomat, the talks can bring about stability and security along the volatile border deal or not. For now, these negotiations are serving the interests of all the parties involved. Zanakhoudi Al Jazeera, Nakura, Southern Lebanon.